well-meaning liberals of the past. These people are just demonic leftists. They're not even liberals anymore. And so, I really believe that when the election was held in 2020, and evidence began to surface that there were very serious irregularities in the election process, and rather than just, you know, walk away quietly into the night, Donald Trump was saying, this ain't right. And we kept hearing from the media over and over again, and even now, you know, Filthy Fox, that's what I call them, Filthy Fox News, I don't trust them anymore, they're out of my house forever. I've kicked them to the curb where they belong. The woke leftist young grandkids are now going to run that thing into the ground. They're going to turn Fox News into a phony conservative establishment network of propaganda and play just a little bit of loyal opposition, but leaning you to the left every step of the way. That's why they're gone. They're not in my house any longer and never will be until there's either a change in ownership and those that are pretty much showing their faces on the TV. I'm done. The old saying, you've heard it before. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. And this goes for all of the media. This goes for politicians. It goes for all of these elitist, you liars. I don't trust you. You have broken trust with me. You have broken trust with the American people and the global the people around the world. I really believe... And I said this in 2020, and, I, and then, you know, you had what I called it, the clown acts out there. Oh, you know, yeah, it's going to get overturned before, the, before January the 20th. And you know, yeah, I, I had this one guy, so I'm not going to say the name. I think I played his stuff way back when, you know, like uh, two years ago, three years ago. This guy was a self-declared prophet of God. And he said that he saw... God gave him a vision of this blue sea being gradually turned purple and then red, and Trump wins, and yes, it's triumph, and we're, don't worry, Biden will never know. And I kept saying, who is this moron collecting big money? And a lot of them really want big money because they're making a living at this. I don't make a living at this, just to be clear. Oh, God. And, and I knew the way they were working overtime, even before... We got to the new year of 2021. That they would say, well, the courts have said that nothing wrong. Well, that was a lie, number one. The courts never, ever, ever said there was nothing wrong with the election. That was never stated. And this is what the filthy lying media and filthy Fox and all of them do not want to tell you. To say the courts had seen the evidence of cheating and ruled that there was no evidence of cheating like in Georgia and other places it's not true if you go look at the record here's what you need to understand every case was pretty much dismissed on procedural grounds and or standing did this person have standing to challenge the election no then we're not going to hear the case that happened in Pennsylvania, it happened in Michigan, it happened in Georgia, it happened in Arizona. Need I say more? It's not a case where actual evidence of foul play in an election was ever heard. It was who had the right to be in the court. And the courts were cowards. I really believe that Bill Barr was a strategic insider plant he knew how to talk the game and act conservative and play the part but when it comes down to exposing the deep state in which allowed him to play loyal opposition he cannot bite the hand that feeds him i don't trust him i think the man was a traitor when it came to the election i he never he said i don't see any evidence we never looked for any you didn't want to you knew you couldn't you knew it by the end of your career and income as you knew it, if you did. We know that in December of 2020, we're talking before January 6th of 2021, two federal agents approached a guy by the name of Jeremy Brown at his home and asked him if he would be a paid informant for the government. They wanted him to infiltrate some groups 
they were looking at. And they were thinking ahead to what might be happening in January. Look, the governor planned January 6th more than anybody else. That's my opinion now. And the evidence is beginning to show that more and more each day. He recorded that conversation on the Americans. And he's been on a lot of outlets that would hear him and play the recording. He named the agents and exposed what they wanted to do. Now, he does the right thing, so what is, what is this? What is this Nazi government under, under the fear of, I call him, I call him that, he doesn't even know what he is anymore. Biden? What do they do? They arrest him. <laughs> yeah. Because of him telling the truth, the government had him arrested after an illegal search of his home back in September of 21. Oh, yeah, yeah. And after nearly two and a half years in federal prison, Jeremy has filed an appeal. Yeah, it was supposed for coke. The legal team is presenting forensic evidence that show the unregistered explosive grenades and all the defense documents. Oh, yeah. That Don't forget the cocaine. Who have illegally in his possession were actually planted in his home by our stinking, filthy, evil government agents during an illegal search. I'm calling them for what they are. These are reprobates. These are demonically possessed, sick and evil people. We have them in the government, in the highest offices. We have a freak show in the White House. Look at the freak show. It looks like a clown yeah. show. Yeah, Look yeah, he's a clown act. He's a clown. Look at the guy that speaks for national security. Tommy, he's a buffoon. Look at them all. It's based upon gender and race, and, and if you're weirder and more sexually perverted, we're going to give you even a higher office in this government. The more perverted you are, the higher you go oh, wow. in the Biden White House. Oh, yeah. I'm horny for that. Ooh. And what they say God. is that first thing the agents did when they entered Brown's home for the search was turn off all 14 recording devices. And none of these agents had any functioning body cameras. The only person recording was Jeremy's girlfriend who recorded the arrest by agents and instructed her to stop recording when she did. They were deliberate in making sure nothing was recorded during their search, which only proves to me that they did not want to be found out. During the search, they allegedly found two explosive grenades in a CD containing national defense documents. Items that Brown had no idea. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I thought he, I never heard anything about that. I thought uh, the son there, Biden's son had cr uh, cocaine. What's up with that? You don't mention about that. DNAs on the, grade, um, on the grenades, uh, none of them were from Jeremy Brown. They found a dog hair underneath one of the grenades. <laughs> How about a pubic hair? <laughs> two dogs, so the FBI got a search warrant, took 50 samples, and determined the hair on the grenade was not his dog's. And they found carpet fiber on a tape around one of the grenades, so they got another search warrant, cut out pieces of Jeremy's carpet, only to find out, nope, no match. These criminal counts, I, look, I believe the FBI planted it. These bastards would do it. Sorry to be so firm, but I am so angry at the government I once trusted. I can't trust them anymore. You, yeah, we all don't trust them. Where the hell have you been, pal? All the evidence shows that none of this belonged to Brown. None of it. And crooked agents who should spend the rest of their natural life in Gitmo, for as far as I'm concerned, for being traitors to the United States cause and constitution. Really? Oh, that's nothing new. Just like January 6th. See, the criminal state is now threatening to go after anybody who was in D.C. January 6th, no matter if they were at the Capitol or on the Capitol grounds or not. They want to scare the ever-living stuffing out of you. That you never challenge the deep state again. This deep state needs to be eradicated. It needs to be pulled out by the roots. It needs to be exposed under the light of truth.